Well, hospital porters, pride and dignity, stop the New World Order. Welcome to Havanwo TV. Now, I'm sure uh, a lot of you will recall um, my, my dealings with the bank a few months ago, and um, that is still ongoing. Um, well, I received a, um, a letter from these people called Westcott Credit Services Limited, which I assumed was something connected with that, something to do with my uh, problems with the bank. I have had letters from lots of debt collectors now from several different companies over my dealings with the bank, including Westcott. Uh, but it wasn't. It was rather, rather strange. Um, first of all, Westcott Credit Services Limited are a company based in Hull, in the East Riding of Yorkshire. And if you go to their website, you will see that they have a slogan, a little motto, and it is, and focused on an ethical approach to debt collection. Ha! <laughs> Goodness me, pass the sick bag, please. I mean, what an oxymoron that is. <clears throat> anyway, um, I was quite surprised to find it's got nothing to do with the bank. Um, it's actually on behalf of Telefonica O2 UK Limited, and it's to collect the outstanding amount of, wait for it, £34.05. <laughs> yes, and it says here, final notice, in big capital letters. It's repeated at the top here in red. Important final notice. Despite previous correspondence, a balance still remains outstanding on the above account. Unless you make contact with us and agree repayment of the £34.05 within the next 10 days, collection activity will continue on this account. And this may lead to um, you being, I don't know, God knows kind of things. They, all the kinds of things they threaten you with. Payment due before the 6th of July 2013. Oh, goodness me. Uh, well, let me just explain a little bit, right? Um, I've written an article about this, which I'll put in the description box as well. Um, it is basically, this is something that's been going on in my life for, for a couple of months now, alongside my problems with the bank. Um, I used to have a mobile phone. I don't anymore. I had a mobile phone. Um, I still actually got the handset somewhere. I mean, where is it? Oh, here it is. I've still got the handset, you know, it's, it makes, it's good for sort of like playing music and um, I use it as a clock and things like that, alarm clock and stuff. Um, it doesn't work though. But um, basically I stopped, to, to what happened with the bank, it, was, it is related to what happened with the bank. Because um, when I got into trouble with the bank, um, they basically froze my account and um, I can't access my bank account anymore. And because of this... Um, O2 stopped providing my service. They basically cancelled my contract. Uh, but in, when they did so, there was an outstanding balance of £27.60. The um, £34.5 pence is £27.60 plus their fees. The fees for Westcott Credit Services Limited. Anyway, um, uh, this, is the, this is the latest in about six different letters I've got on this subject. Now, um... This is what's very very interesting is um, O2 didn't contact me, who were the, my my service provider for the mobile phone. They didn't contact me. The first I heard that I owed O2 any money was when I got a letter just like this one. It didn't say final notice on it, but it had lots of cor you know lots of big red print, lots of bold bold letters, lots of threatening and very acidic kind of um, um, statements here. You know what I mean? Um, that's the first time I heard about it. Um, now, um, I think this gives the impression that I've already been notified of the debt when I hadn't been. Um, you know, do not ignore this letter. Avoid to avoid Westcott taking taking further action, and all kinds of things like that. Now, you know, I was I was I was dumbfounded because I didn't know that this debt existed. As I said, I thought I was when I, my mobile phone finished, I was up to date on all the payments. Um, and when I say debt existing. I don't mean in a sense that the bank loan doesn't exist, like I talk about in the link. I mean, you know, that I didn't even know that anybody even thought, rightly or wrongly, apart from the bank, that is, that I owe them any money. I mean, I've asked a few friends for advice and they told me to ignore it. So, you know, so I could do that. I could just ignore this letter altogether. But um, I feel I feel annoyed. I feel violated by by this letter and others like it. So I've decided... To take a different course of action, which is um, which will slightly more entertaining. <laughs> so this is what I wrote in reply. This this I'm not in reply to this letter. This is the latest one. It's, this this will expire on the sixth of July. Then they'll send me another of these threatograms. But I said, um, dear interloper, 
I am a former customer of Telefonica O2 UK Limited, but I have received no correspondence at all from them regarding any outstanding payments due from me. Therefore, I do not understand your involvement in my business with them. I also reject your attempt to charge me administration fees. Please ask your client to contact me personally and directly so I may settle any financial obligation I might lawfully owe. Yours sincerely. Um, I think this is where a lot of people misunderstand this get out of debt free, free thing. All right? They think that people who are involved in get out of debt free are only doing it because they, they, they want to steal money from people and try you know borrow lots of money and then get away with it no, no it's not about that it's a print it's a matter of principle and the truth of the matter is if i do owe people money i will pay it and i think in this case i obviously do owe telefonica o2 uk limited some money and i'm quite happy to pay it um but i'm if you know if i owe o2 money i'm going to pay o2 i'm not going to pay a bunch of thugs who send me threatening letters and I think this, what I think is sad is, I think this has is, is become the normal way to do business nowadays. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone in having this kind of experience. I'm sure many people watching this film would have had a similar experience when, you know, they, they may have forgot to pay a bill one month or something like that. And um, instead of getting a nice letter, you know, a friendly letter from your creditor reminding you, you get a threat from a bloody debt collection agency. Um... It's, it seems like the bullying and, intim bullying and intimidation is the normal way to do business. Um, I mean, you see, the thing that you've got to remember is that I'm, I am an ex-hospital porter, as I think I've mentioned before. And I'm a big, tough, ugly ex-hospital porter. You know, I, I can take this kind of crap. But there's other people who can't. I mean, I, I know people who would be very, very upset and very, very, dis you know, disturbed you know, pathologically disturbed, you know, to, to receive this kind of treatment. A few years ago, it would be un unthinkable for any creditor to employ a debt collection agency unless they'd already tried to ask their customer nicely and the customer had either refused to pay or sort of neglected to pay over a long period of time. And I think, so this experience is just definitely a general symptom of the times. Um, we're moving to more towards, I mean, I've explained many, many times on Hopanwo TV about my fears that we're moving towards a world of greater authoritarianism, more thoughtless bureaucracy, a departure from all humanity and all individual justice, brutal inflexibility, and a worshipful adherence to the rules and the small print. I mean, um, when, when I actually wrote back to them, I almost signed the letter Archibald Tuttle. Now, if you've seen the film Brazil, you'll know what I'm talking about, because if you haven't, please go and see it. It's on YouTube. Just put in Brazil movie. It's a comedy film. It's a very satirical comedy film, um, all about um, this kind of thing. It's a Terry Gilliam film. It's brilliant. It's <laughs> about how stupid all this bureaucracy is and how, how, how dangerous it is and how it can lead towards tyranny. Anyway, um, I got a reply from them a, f a few uh, weeks later, I'm demanding in no uncertain terms that they didn't, they're still commanding me to pay. Very robotic, but very, uh, nevertheless, you know, very, very positive that they they didn't they didn't see my side of it at all they told me to pay so I uh, I wrote another letter to them and the letter was a little bit firmer than the last time I said I am a former customer of Telefonica O2 UK Limited and before breaking contact with them in August of last year my record of accurate and timely bill payments with them was always good I am a reasonable customer and I'm perfectly willing to discuss any balance discrepancy discrepancies with them in an amicable way. They have made no contact with me at all since I ceased using their services all those months ago. And had they done so, I would have been perfectly willing to deal with them in a proper way. Therefore, I do not understand your involvement in their business with me. I do not recognise your authority over this case. In my business with them, I certainly do not intend to permit the unnecessary interference of any third-party interlopers whose first contact with me is to send me a letter full of capitals, red print, emboldened text, and other forms of intimidating correspondence. I decline to discuss this matter with you any further. Please instruct your client to contact me directly. This is the second time of asking. Anyway, they just keep sending me these notices, you know, threatograms, as um, uh, Ceylon and calls them, you know, from Get Out Debt 3, um, three you know. But basically, it, um, I, I just decided, well, what I'd do is, as I said, I, if I do owe O2 money, I'm going to pay O2. So I went into an O2 shop and I asked, I, I asked them, I took, it, I took one of these letters in and I said to the guy, you know, what can I do about this? And he said, I'll put you through to customer services. So he gave me a phone 
and he let me call for free from the shop to customer services O2. And I spoke to a very nice man who, who said, um, he said to me, I said to me, look, I just want to pay a bill. I mean, I, I don't, I can't pay by my, through my bank, so can I pay by cash through, through bank credit? gyro credit and he says he says of course he says um and he i didn't expect this right he just gave me an account number <laughs> to pay to pay the, uh, the the money in so i've got the details of an account i just go along and pay the money in and i said oh thank you very much and i i, I started to talk about this business with westcott and he said oh no wait a minute so wait a minute if this has escalated to a situation with debt collectors i'm, I'm afraid you're going to need to i said sorry i've got to go and i put the phone down <laughs> So um, basically, I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay the money in. Now, basically, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay the money in to the bank account, and um, I mean, what are they honestly going to do? Am I, what are O2 going to do? Are they going to are they going to say? Um, well, I, sh I should explain a bit of background, right? Because I've been looking into this. What what has actually happened? <laughs> I mean, I had to I had to do a double take when I first heard about this, right? Um, Westcott have actually bought my debt off O2. Did you know you can buy and sell debt? Yes, you can. It's incredible. You can actually buy debt off somebody. It's an asset. Debt is now an, uh, an economic. It's now an economic asset. It's a form of economic capital. What the hell? <laughs> and people say oh, I'm crazy. Debt is a form of economic capital. Yeah. So basically, what, what's happened is Westcott have already bought my debt off O2, and um, so they now own my debt, and so. Even though technically I, I, I owe the money to O2, but now I owe the money to Westcott. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm not going to go or play along with this. I'm paying O2. I didn't ask. If it's my debt, I didn't tell them to sell it to Westcott, did I? I didn't even, I didn't even know you could buy and sell debt. I mean, the whole idea is ridiculous. So, what I have here. 10. 20. 25. 26. 27. 2750 55 60 I've got 27 pounds60 here this is the money I owe O2 I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to pay it into O2's account the account that they the man in the shop gave me what are they honestly going to do are they going to are they honestly going to get a hold of me and say mr Emlyn Jones we need to we need to reimburse you with this money and I'll say oh, wait a minute but this is the money I owe yes I know but we have to reimburse you with it because um, you owe it to us but you've got to pay it to Westcott what? You want me? You want you want to pay back to me the money that I owe you, so then I can owe it to you again and pay it to Westcott? Do you see how ridiculous this whole thing is? Do you see? Do you see how 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 not nonsensical this is? I'm not I'm not going to collaborate with this kind of this kind of boulder dash. I'm going to I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to pay off O2, and I'm going to write to these people, Westcott, one final letter. I'm going to say, uh, dear Westcott. Um, just to inform you, this matter is now settled with your client. Thank you for your business. Goodbye. And what's more, I'm going to include my bill for £500 because I charge £500 for every letter that I write. <laughs> so uh, I'll, be, I'll let you know what they say to that. <laughs> oh, isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it crazy? Isn't this a crazy world? Right? It's People say the conspiracy theorists are crazy, like people like me. No, we're not. We're the same ones, man. We're the same ones. Or if... You know, if um, if sanity is what the, the, this kind of thing is sanity, then I, I'm glad I'm a nut job. I really am. And it's true. <laughs> it's the sane. It's the normal people. It's the good citizens you've got to watch because they're the ones destroying the world. Crazy conspiracy kooks are harmless. Thank you for watching Hapanwo TV. Hospital porters, pride and dignity. Stop the new world order.